In this video, we're going to go through how to put your drawstring through the casing that you've sewn as your hem on your hoodie. And before you do it, you need to make sure that your buttonholes are open if you want to put the drawstring in. You don't have to put the drawstring in. This is an optional step. So if you want to skip this, you can. And if you're behind, I'd recommend skipping this just so that you can get moving on to your next thing. But if you're not and you want to put a drawstring through, that's awesome. Let's look at our pattern guide sheet just to see what it tells us about the drawstring. Um, so we've done the step where it said to sew the bottom of the hem. We've already done the hem. We stitched close to the edge of the casing. And then it says to insert the drawstring into the casing through the buttonholes. So this is our casing right here. And it's kind of a channel that we can put our draw or the drawstring through because we've sewn close to the edge. So now there's this whole three quarters of an inch where I can put my drawstring through. And normally you want your casing to be about a quarter inch bigger than whatever you're putting through. So this is not quite a half, but we're still going to do three quarters of an inch just because that looks like a nice hem. But that's something to know for the state test. It's normally a one quarter inch bigger than whatever you're putting through. And to put it through, I'm not going to just put my aglet through right here or like the top of my drawstring that looks kind of like a shoelace because it's really hard to find and move around and it's going to be really hard to go all the way around my hoodie. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this safety pin and I'll just pin it on the edge of my of my drawstring and then I can move everything through using my safety pin. So I'll put my safety pin through my drawstring and that might be a little tricky because it's about the size of or through my buttonhole. It's about the size of my buttonhole, but it'll go through eventually, just a little bit of finagling. And then what I'll do from here is I'm going to use my fingers and I can feel, you probably can't see, but I can feel where this safety pin is. And so I can actually just push it with one hand. One hand I'm going to push and the other hand I'm going to grab the top of it where you can kind of see the top right here and I can pull with that. So I'm going to push with my right hand and then pull with my left hand, push, pull, and then I'll go around all the way and do that. So I've made it all the way around and now I just need to come back through my buttonhole, which again might be a little tricky because the buttonhole is about the same size as the um, safety pin. And you can see that my safety pin kind of got caught on some interfacing. So I'm gonna have some interfacing coming out with that, which I can hopefully get to go back in because I don't really want to see that. Um, but from here, what I'm gonna do is just kind of space out I'm going to just hold on to what's coming out here so I don't it doesn't go back in. And then I'm just going to pull so that I can get a little bit more of the drawstring in here. So I have my two ends coming out here. And I have my drawstring all throughout the bottom of my hoodie. So I can just kind of even these out so that my strings are a little more even. Like that. And now I have my drawstrings put through. With my drawstrings put through, I'm ready to move on to the next step. Um, and you'll see that my interfacing did go back in, so that's good. I don't have my interfacing poking out anymore. And I just kind of evened out my two strands. And you can cinch this up on you when you wear it, or you can tie it um, so that out of the way. If these are really long and you're like, wow, these are just too long for me, one thing you could do is you could trim them and then just tie off the end like this instead of having an aglet you just kind of have a raw edge and a tie and they could be a little bit shorter 